So this is what we're going to be making today. Some super neon mini blooms. We are back. We're going to be trying out these new neon pigment pastes from Armour Art. I was lucky enough they sent me a set. They're not glow in the dark but they're really really fluorescent under a UV light. But they're also a really nice colour on their own, really strong. I'm not sure if they're opaque or not, but we're going to find out. So we are going to be using the Let's Resin Collaboration Resin one for this one, and we're going to be doing some mini blooms. I try and use as many of the colours as I can, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> right, let's get mixing. Okay, my resin has been sitting here for about 15 minutes just to gain that temperature for the bloom. And now we're going to see if these pigments are actually opaque. Let's go have a bit more. I don't think I've mixed up enough resin to use all the colours. So I'm probably just going to stick with the vibrant colours. So this is the neon pink. It doesn't actually say opaque on the bottle. Some of the pigment paste from Armour are, oh my goodness. Always take the ring off before you pour it in. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, let's now mix that up. Mm. I don't know, maybe I need to add a little bit more. See, trouble is, if I add white to make it opaque, it's going to make it more pastel. I don't really want them pastel. So i add some more just to see if that makes any difference. I don't think they are opaque. But I think we will continue as it is and just see what we get. I could add, I might, what I might do actually is mix one up white and then I can do white and a color if that makes sense. So I just pour, I'm going to need more whites than any of the colours. And they have changed their white container from a, well, they've swapped it from a bottle to a container, which is so much better. I really don't need much of this stuff. Again, just thoroughly mix that in. As always, massive shout out to my channel members and anyone who's new to my membership. I will be taking some more macro shots and uploading those shortly. So keep an eye out. I think that would do. I don't want it too heavy. And this one is the yellow. Again, it's going to add a bit more. Hopefully they won't sink by adding more. We'll see. Now we have our orange. And then last of all, we have the purple. These are definitely not opaque. But hopefully we'll just use them for the color and the white will make them a bit more opaque. Okay, I haven't really got much to play with, but there should be enough for the video. I've just got them all ready in my little piping bags. Now I've just got to hope my resin isn't too thick now. It's taken a little while to get all those mixed and bagged. But I'm going to do what I've done in my previous mini bloom videos and just do one at a time. Because otherwise the resin could cool too quick on the other pieces and it won't work. Right, I might try and get as much colour into this one as I can see if I can get them all so I'm only, I've only really snipped a small amount of the end of this one I'm just going to chase around each one doesn't have to be perfect
really small cut. And now for the yellow. Just be careful because it is a small cut, it might come out the back of the bag. And now for the white. Be interesting to see. Never used so much colour in a piece before. And then let that do its thing. For this one. I've lost my paper clip holding my bag. <laughs> Never mind, so we'll just carry on. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with purple and red in this, uh, purple and pink in this one. Just try and fill those gaps. Obviously I'm going to need to use the white as well. And again there's a 20% discount for all Arm um, Art products in the description box below alongside everything else that I use in my video. Might only be able to use a small amount of white in this one. Because I didn't mix up enough resin. For this one I think I'm going to go for yellow and orange. I really want to see that multicoloured one. I might have to cheat and speed up the curing process. I hopefully get this video up for you tonight. These are really nice colours. Go round and round. What I don't want to happen is for the, see how it's already starting to form that heart shape. That's the only thing about these moulds. It can be tricky to draw in the design when it starts to pull in to that natural heart shape. And for the next one, back with the purple. Wondering what a yellow would look like with a purple or even an orange. We'll go with the yellow. Hopefully, it won't clash. Be interesting. These are the sort of colours that would muddy with inks. Don't, I wish I hadn't done that now. Looks a bit... Ugh. <laughs> and we're going... Got a bubble. Not anymore. Right, again with our pink. And we'll draw in the details once I've finished and run out of resin. I've probably got enough for one more heart, I think. I might just do this one pink and white.
Right, we're really starting to run low now on everything. <laughs> we'll start off with our orange. You can see some bubbles there, but I'll get those afterwards. We're back with our yellow again. Then I think I'm going with a bit of pink. If I've got enough left, really bright colours. There's a bit too much resin in this one. Hope it doesn't overspill. I think it might. But I thought we might have had enough in this one down here, but we haven't. So I'm just gonna see if I can just use everything I've got left to just cram it and really fill it up if I've got enough. But I'll probably do that off camera because it's gonna take me a little while to get that full. Well, it's a bit more full than it was before. Maybe a bit more awful. <laughs> but we have to carry on. It's, it's really thick now. I don't think it's actually going to pull inwards. But we can hope. So we're looking okay. This one is actually not too bad. It's growing on me. The more I look at it, but I really do like this one. So now we're just drawing our designs carefully. I try not to get my hand into the other pieces as I go. So it's always a good start to begin on the furthest pieces away from you, just in case that does happen. Just going to go with my normal coming in each side first. Really, is a lot of colour in these, like a rainbow bloom. I have to try this on a bigger scale, I think. And then I'm going to swirl the middle first, and then come out as I normally do on my other projects, just on these tips. Okay, and the good thing about these pigments is that they don't really muddy. Just like that. On to the next one. I might just show this one and then skip because you can see what I'm doing. I'm not going to change the way that I'm stirring them. Swirl that centre. And I think I'll leave the petals on this one as they are. Right, I will see you for the next part. Right, we're all ready to go. I did think about a background, but I chose not to in the end. Hopefully they've turned up okay. Let's try it with the, they really are bright. Turned out really well. It's very soft. Wow, the colour is like really immense. I'm trying to get a decent, a 
decent focus on it because it's very bright. It's almost like it doesn't really want to focus on it. There's so much colour. <laughs> we'll try and shade it from the light. You can really see it, can you? Maybe if I try putting it down, focus. No, it's just because the colour's so strong. It's having trouble. Well, I'm having trouble. You can see it better from there. You're struggling to focus on it. I'll get some decent photos anyway. Put them up. I want to leave that one for now. This one's gone a bit off centre. And as always, massive shout out to those who have bought me a coffee or a super thanks. I will be updating that board soon. I'm just letting a few build up. So I'm not posting it constantly. Really having trouble with his focus. Yeah, it's a bit off centre. And as always, give the video a thumbs up, drop me a comment. It's not really showing the depth to the piece. Let's go with this one next. I wasn't quite sure on the, the colours. Wow. <laughs> that is really nice. I wasn't sure on that. really is a nice combo let's go with this one I think you're gonna have trouble with the focus on this one as well yeah, it's just gone into a complete mess I know I said the colors don't muddy but when you put that much in you really are pushing the boundaries All right, last one. This is the one we crammed lots of colour in. Wow. Bit of negative space up here. But that is really, really colourful. Let's see what that looks like with the light. Whoa. <laughs> Super bright. Try it with them all grouped up. I need to try this on a bigger scale with coasters. Look at that one. Is that really bright? I hold the, I'm trying to hold my light quite far away. Really are. Super neon. That one just looks like a mess. <laughs> but look at that. Really does pot those colours. Right, I'll see you for the next one. Bye for now.